Healthcare workers at hospitals all across the country are dealing with major issues as they battle the COVID-19 pandemic. And there's another set of healthcare workers who actually follow patients after they leave the hospital to help continue their healing process. I think it's very important that Tucson knows we are not closing our doors. Kristen here. Brown runs Advisacare in Tucson. She says her 40 person team is responsible for helping patients transition from the hospital to home health care. They help with medical needs and services like food prep, medication and shopping. She also says they perform nearly every health care service except for surgery. We are the ones that go into the home, make sure that it's safe for the patient make sure um, that the patient is taking their meds. And we're just as much, if not at more risk, because at home, you don't have the pleasures of having all of the supplies at your fingertips. While getting supplies for healthcare workers is tough, Brown says her team is optimistic. They're taking precautions before they enter a home. Nurses, therapists, and caregivers are required to wear an N95 or surgical mask and gloves before they go in, and they're covered for the entire shift. All of our caregivers and clinicians can take their temperature in front of the client and then when they see that it's normal, then we walk in. In the midst of the coronavirus pandemic, Brown is seeing a big change in connections between hospital and home care workers. I can feel a better bond between the health care workers because we know that we're putting ourselves at risk even more than we normally do. There are 21 advisor care locations across the country, including one in Tucson and three in Phoenix. I just want you know the public to know that we practice everything that the CDC guidelines recommend. Shandrea Thomas, KGA 9, on your side. Changes in the economy are impacting more than just people. How one